Hi, my name is Wayne Morrison, and I'm talking about an event that happened to me as of this recording 50 years ago. It was the early 70s, and I was 17 years old. I was invited to a party, and I had taken some medications. I can't remember what I was sick with, but one thing or another. And I was only 17, and when I got there, these guys were a little bit older than me, and there were a lot of drinks and things going around. And uh, I started drinking, and at some point, and I'm not sure at what point in the evening, I lost consciousness. Well, I assume I lost consciousness. What happened is one minute I was drinking and enjoying myself, and the next moment what happened was I was moving in a dark blackness with a deep, deep noise that surrounded me. I think people have called it a tunnel, maybe even myself, but I'm not even sure that's how it seemed to me. It just seemed like a black expanse, but it didn't seem frightening. And as I was traveling, and it seemed like I was traveling fast in a forward fashion, I became aware of some sort of light in front of me. And as I drew near the light, I could see I was moving up above a field of flowers. And the flowers were not flowers that you normally see. I, they were, I, as I recall, very, very large flowers. Like some of these could have been 10, 12, 50 feet even. And they were all communicating with me. And when I say communicating, I don't mean they were speaking language. They were somehow interacting with me and I was interacting with them. And it all seemed very peaceful and positive. And I guess at this point, being from planet Earth, I should have been alarmed, but I wasn't. And as I passed over this scene, some kind of presence, and I don't know what kind of presence, seemed to pull me towards an area where a light in the distance appeared. And this light was way off, but it was very bright. And it got closer and closer and closer until it was right in front of me. And I somehow instinctively knew that we knew each other, but I didn't have a name for the presence, the light. It wasn't a body, although it could have been somewhat body-shaped. And the presence communicated immediately to me a lot of information. And one of the things I need to talk about is that the information that's communicated in this place isn't like we do here, where we use symbols of symbols of symbols. We say one thing to mean something that we think it is in our language. This was instantaneous sort of communication where, where I could feel and understand what was being said to me before I even could think about it. And because I knew for some reason that all my answers could be answered right now, I asked the one question that had bothered me up to that point, or, or at least had been working in my mind, and why am I here? What is the meaning of life? And this presence communicated to me a feeling of love. And when I say that, I don't mean a feeling of love as in how I've always felt about it here, or maybe others have. You love somebody, you love other people. But this was sort of an all-encompassing sort of love. And it, it was just thrilling to actually hear this because it was what I wanted to hear, I suppose. And at some point, I said amongst the questions, one of the questions I have is, are there other people existing somewhere in the universe? And I was transported, and I don't quite know how. All I could feel is I was moving rapidly. And by rapidly, I don't think there's probably terms that we could use here towards civilizations that I got to view from afar. And some of these looked ancient and some didn't. And then I returned. And at some point here, I was taken to an area that was very dark. And again, none of this was fearful to me for some reason. It all seemed natural. And in front of me, it seemed like a tablet was spinning in dark space. And the tablet stopped. And suddenly I saw the history of the world. <laughs> which I know sounds crazy, but I did. I saw it from its very beginning to the very end, and it happened in milliseconds, I guess. But somehow I absorbed all of this information rapidly. I understood it, at least then I did. And I understood that I was part of this process in some way. And I began to be worried that they were going to send me back to where I came from. And I somehow communicated that this isn't something I wanted to do. And it was communicated to me, and I'm not sure at this point who was doing the communicating, whether it was that original light presence or other presences, but it was communicated to me that I had to return. There was a reason, but I was stubborn and I kind of refused to go. Suddenly, uh, and this is probably the most remarkable part of my experience, I was surrounded by at least thousands of these light beings. 
and they began to sing the praises of me. And it was clear that I had to return. And as they were singing, they were singing in an improvisational sort of way, unlike any music I've ever heard. And I've been a musician and a singer, but this isn't like we think of music. This was as if they were creating the music right on the spot. And it wasn't music. It was more than that. It, it vibrated physically and spiritually and mentally. I, I can't really explain it because I've never heard it before and I've never heard it since. But it was clear to me that I wasn't going to stick around there. And at some point, I came back to where I was. And I was in a bathroom in this apartment with these guys I barely knew, actually. And I was looking for a razor blade. And what I wanted to do, I believe I found one, if I remember correctly. And what I wanted to do was slit my wrists. And I know this sounds very dark and morbid, but it wasn't for that reason. It was because I thought... I have to get back there no matter what. I have to return. And then suddenly a voice said, a really loud and deep voice said, no. And at that exact moment, somebody opened the bathroom door and said, hey, guys, he's in here. And that was it. I went to my girlfriend. I was 17 years old uh, the next day. And I told her what had happened. And I explained it all to her. But there was no context. Don't forget, this was the early 70s. 50 years ago, there was no context. I, there was no reference point. So... Going forward about a year and a half, I'm married to the, my girlfriend. She's now my wife. and We have a baby. And we were watching TV on a daytime show. I'm guessing, I could be wrong on this, but it was a show like Merv Griffin. I don't know how many people remember that, but it was a thing. And they had a guest on named Dr. Raymond Moody. And he had just released a book called Life After Life. And they began to discuss the events that occurred in this book of people who claimed to have died and had returned with stories that were very, very similar to mine. And I jumped up off the couch and I said to my wife, this is it, this is what happened to me. And I went out and I got that book. And uh, sure enough, most of those events correlated with what I had happened, although some did differ somewhat, but they were basically the same thing. And then as the years went by and I got older and time went by here, of course, the internet came around and I began to see that other people on videos had had these experiences. And now at this point, I realize that there are millions of us. I mean, it just probably has happened since time began. That's my guess. And when I tell the story, it's kind of important to me that I don't try to color it with any religious experience. I personally don't belong to a religion. I'm not anti-religion. I just don't belong to one. But I, I have heard people say, uh, I think that was Jesus. I think that was God. And yes, maybe I do think it was one and or the other. But I try not to put that into this story because I just want to relate the facts as they happened. And they happened so vividly and clearly that it impressed in my mind at the age of 17, something that has never let me go, really. And that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And uh, as I grow older, which is happening, I take stock in it more and more every day. And I'm thankful and grateful.